This is not a good way to start an episode. What horrible surprises might he have in store for Mario? What could it possibly be? <clears throat> Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Woo! I guess Mario doesn't seem too affected by the fact that uh, there's some horrible surprises awaiting for us in the future. But here we get the Shed Key. Alright. Last time we, uh... Oh yeah, Yari. That's a Yar short for Yuridovich, who we defeated last time. Um, and uh, he had tried to take the star piece back from us, but uh, we managed to get it back from him. Oh, there's a huge axe flying across the sky. Go get him, pal! Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a true mate in Johnny Jones. All right, very cool. All right, well, let's uh, unlock these people here in the shed. There we go. And now we've saved the townspeople. All right. <laughs> Hey, no problem, man. Glad to help. Oh, there's a mole person here. That's cool. Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, okay. Gladly stop on by. No problem. Oh, I get to stop by the inn. Yeah, no problem. Happy to do it. And this must be, ah, the elder, yes. Oh, sure, happy to do it. Well, if I remember from last time, they just tickled you a little bit, so a little ticket fight. All right, but we get a flower jar. Excellent. Very cool. Let's see, how are we doing on our inventory? I may have to use some of these. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get up to 70 flowers. Yeah, so I can... I managed to start freeing up some room in my inventory. Uh, okay. Well, now that we've managed to take care of that, we can go visit all the different shops that are in town. So let's do that. <clears throat> hey, beetles are us. Uh, sure. Okay, what do we do? A beetle box, which costs 50 coins. Oh, so we have to do the Booster Hill minigame. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, let's check the menu, see what we got here. Uh, mail 50 coins. Ooh, one frog coin. Oops. Yeah, so this is not this is an okay way to do um Oh, initiation fee. Oy. Uh sure. Well I need to get rid of some of my money anyways. Some ID. Okay, yeah, you just gotta jump to show your ID. And we get a beetle box. Alright. Wonder what kind of beetles we can find. Man, if those were those kind of beetles, we'd be in good shape. You guys remember that show? Yeah, I love the beetle boards. But now we can upgrade our equipment. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh, parasol, we already have one of those. Double punch and a rivet stick. Also, you can go back and you can purchase any of the old hammers uh, and old weapons from uh, before. So let's go ahead and equip some of our stuff here. And let's see. We're going to the rivet stick. We can now give her a, a uh, an umbrella there, which is the parasol. It'll come in handy, okay. And we can kick with it. Yeah, these aren't really very descriptive uh, of uh, our weapons there, but eh. Okay, super hammer, handgun, womp gun, slap glove. Yep. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the safety pin. That can guard against mortal attacks, which means that you can't be one hit KO'd. So uh, that's pretty good. Now, if we go over here, and we have an armor shop. Now, unfortunately, we've got all the stuff that we're going to need, so we, we can't really up upgrade our equipment here. But you can also go back and buy any of the old uh, equipment from earlier in the game, should you desire to do that. Alright, let's check out some more of these shops. And a health food store. And it's just some items there, don't really care about that. And we'll go over here now. Ah, the Mushroom Boy. Ah, yes, let's talk to this guy. Hey, hey, hey! You want to take a look at my picnic basket? Yeah, that's probably the worst uh, Yogi Bear ever. But yeah, if you go find some uh, mushrooms, you can just give them to this guy. Uh, and he'll, um, no, and it's got to be regular mushrooms. It's not like a max mushroom or anything like that. But yeah, you just bring him some mushrooms, and you can get some rare items as a result. Best place to do that is to go and um, to the uh, forest maze there. There's a ton of uh, uh, mushrooms there. Huh? What do you mean, what do I wear? Uh, no, I'm good. So yeah, you can get some accessories there if you want them, so... Okay. Well, uh, let's do one more thing in this town, and then we'll move on to the next part of the mission. Let's talk to the Elder. Oh, really? How so? Uh-huh. Oh, so they have a star at Land's End. Well, if it's Land's End, then there must be nowhere else we can go. Ah, accumulate some frog coins. Uh, no, the next thing I think I'm going to save up for is the screw drink. Uh, and that's going to take us a long time to get. But we'll uh, go over that here in just a little bit. Okay. Well, that's all we can do here in Seaside, so let's go ahead and get out of here. 
Okay, and now we can go up to Land's End. But before we do that, there's two more things I want to take care of um, before uh, we do that. And the first part is Booster Pass, and I forgot to do this a little earlier in the game. But remember back in Booster Tower, it said, what was that sound? Check out Booster's Pass. And I completely forgot to do this, but that's okay. Um, you know, it's it's not a huge deal. But yeah, if you go over here, uh, remember if you hit on that switch, you open up this little entranceway here. So, all right. Let's make our way here, and uh, hey, it's a Sniffit. Uh, yeah, I am, uh, Mario. Huh? Okay, looks like this guy wants a piece of me. Oh, well, let's use our new ribbit stick, which, uh, flails around there. Yeah, well, that really didn't go so well now, did it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he's gone. Ah, uh, that's one of those, uh, <coughs> moments here from Star Tropics 2, or from, uh, Mystic Quest there. Anyways, we get a flower, and a frog coin, and a Kuro Kuro Cola. Excellent. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to meet you guys back at the Mushroom Kingdom. Alright. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Looks like Toad's been doing his job and has been monitoring everything carefully. Okay, once you get to this point in the game, we can head over here. <clears throat> talk to this guy. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, talk to this guy a few times, and I'm waiting. Alright, good. And he's got the uh, new, uh, he, I guess he's got the high score in his game. Sure, we'll go ahead and buy that. Uh, sure. <clears throat> okay. What do you mean? The... Oh, alright, fair enough. Uh, no, I already know. You already told me how to do that. Okay, but now if you open up the menu... Whoa, a beetle's flying by. <clears throat> Sorry, BCS Universe, I got a frog in my throat today. Oh, we can play Beetlemania. Cheat with the Turbo Tripe controller, what do you mean by that? Well, let's find out. And this is the last uh, item command that you can get. As you can see, it's extended all the way down to the flowers thing. So, if we do this, yeah, we can play this game, Beetlemania. Yeah, so what you basically do is you just go through and you try to dodge all the shells and, uh, you know, try to take them out with your, um, with your attack power there. So, there you go. Okay, well, I'll let myself get hit and die, but Turbo Mode does this. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, and that's how you can do that. So, it's kind of fun. So, that's what I meant with a... Oops. No, I want to get out of this game. Yeah, okay, yeah. And that. Hang it with there. There we go. Okay, now I'll meet you back outside of Seaside Town, and we'll go up to Land's End. All right, we're back outside of Seaside Town, and now we can head up here to Land's End. I guess this is the last place in the game we can uh, go. What's this thing? Uh oh a boss battle. Huh? Formless? What are you talking about? Oops, uh, no, we want to use the Thunderbolt here. Make this guy show yourself! Whoa! It's an evil cloud! Whoa! Sounds like a powerful attack there. Woohoo! 85 damage! Yikes! Good thing we have the princess here. <clears throat> She'll be helping us out here for sure. Okay, go Mario! Oh, wow. Look at that trooper shell. Good job. Yeah, I think I forgot to sub Mal out of my party, but that's okay. Solidify. Woohoo! Dang! This guy's kicking my ass. But fortunately, the princess can just heal uh, right after that. And then we'll just use our physical attacks and take this guy out. Uh, this guy will appear randomly uh, at, different, at various points in the game. Or at some point in the world map. Uh, or sometime after you enter an area. So... Just uh, don't be alarmed, I happen to run into him here, so uh, I'll fight him and show you this guy. Reminds me of kind of like one of those uh, green, you know, gas clouds or something like that from, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think. Something like, it looks like something might uh, have come out of Earthbound or something like that. Like this. Ooh, fortunately that missed, so. She can attack with her umbrella? Ooh, but you get 30 experience points for that. Yeah, so that's not a bad battle to face at all. So, okay. Well, let's get, uh... Yeah, let's get Gino back in the party. Yeah, is he the one I want to use? Let me check my stats here real quick. Uh, 35, if we want to attack... Yeah, yeah, we'll go with Gino. And now that he has that multi-targeting attack, um, he's way more useful. Okay, now we're launching the cannon. Now, the way that this works is... You, you uh, gain and lose momentum based upon where the cannon is. Let's see, uh, let's see, where is it? Oops. I know there's a... Wait, I, I remember where it is now. Yeah, there's a right around here, I think. Oh, dang it. I know there's a hidden box around here somewhere. 
Yeah, see, so I waited a little bit longer, and then it, uh... Nope, just a second. Okay, let me uh, get this off screen, and I'll show you once I got it. There we go. And we get another red essence. Excellent. I knew there was something there. Okay, let's keep on moving here. Now, before we jump up there, we want to, uh... Is there a secret? No, let's see. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta launch ourselves all the way over. Woo! Whoops. There we go. Whoa! And we get to fight off against a couple new enemies here. The Chow. Yeah, look at that nice new attack there by Gino. Uh, love it. And the Shogun. Man, I wonder if there's anything like the Shogun Zords. From, uh, From, uh, Power Rangers. Those things are awesome. Love the Shogun Zords. And we get to pick me up. And another level for Gino. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay, let me take out these final two chows. Oh, but first we'll face off a new enemy here. The, uh, let's see, the Octavator. These guys have some magic attacks they can use against you, but they're weak against physical attacks, so... Take them out real quick. Yeah, the Princess has become a very, very powerful attacker, and is a very good, useful member to have in your party, especially when she's gained all that experience. You know, where is it? It's around here somewhere. Okay, I know there's a secret thing around here somewhere. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Okay, now what you do is you go on here and launch yourself up there. And we get a frog coin there. And if you jump over here, we get another Kiro Kiro Cola. Excellent. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Ah, yes. These things. And we got a couple new enemies here, the Gekkets. And sometimes if, if a Gekkit ent enters a battle, he can be, uh, confused. And if he does that, um, you know, then he can, he'll attack his own party members, so. Yeah, we should have some upgraded spiders and, uh, Geckos there and stuff like that, so. There you are. Yeah, Gino is able to just roll along with the Princess and, uh, Mario there, so. Yeah, so, I mean, these guys have pretty good experience, too. And another level for, level for Bowser. Ah, and he learns Crusher. Another one of his, uh, uh, rotate the control pad attacks. It's like an Earth Elemental attack. And we got a bunch of new enemies here now. This is why I like, uh, fighting these guys, because sometimes you get this. And all you can do is just use a Geno Blast. Take him out, and watch this experience. Oh, he ran away. Nuts. But even still, 22 experience. And if you kill him, you get like 30 experience. So that's pretty cool. It might be a bad idea to, to sit around and fight these guys. By the way, if you ever fall down, this is how they get up there. They Yeah, see, and the princess gets another level. And she learns Psych Bomb. Now, she actually has a physical attack. Or, I'm sorry, a magic attack that she can use. So that's great. And for us to get back up, we just launch in this cannon here. And away we go. Okay, so I'll finish taking out these last two geckos. Oh, I don't think the princess can learn any more new... Um, spells, right? Uh, learns new. Okay, wait, just a minute. Yeah, so she's all done learning her uh, spells. So what we want to do is she doesn't need the experience booster anymore. I'm not gonna put that on Gino because I want him to learn his final spells. So I'm gonna start by I'm gonna finish taking out these two things. I get a level from Mario there, and uh, let's see. Yeah. Oops, now get the HP, and Mal gains a level. I think I've got them set up so that, uh, you know, when Mario gains one, Mallow gains one. It's that pretty, it's that close. Alright, is that all of them? I think it is. Time to move on. Ah, yes, this area. Okay, this would be a good place to stop since I don't have enough time to show you the next area. But what other surprises await us here at the end of the world? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.